Oh, Mbaka sends heartbreaking apology to Nigerians, reveals disgusting things pastors did during election. Hmm. My people, both the one will be true and the one will not be true. All of them, Nahim, just Mbaka review Bagam. See, let me tell you, my dear people. Um, in this election, both the true, the, the, the prophecy that is true and the one that is not true, we just swallowed everything. In this very content, Mbaka was very, very blunt. Blunt enough to reveal what many pastors, what many pastors revealed that he sees in his own revelation not to be true and he said again that many pastors deceived a lot of aspirants making them to believe that they are the uh, choosing person to win this election mbaka said that these pastors only said all of those things in order to gain to to, to get things from this um from these people Mbaka said that many pastors have given false prophecies concerning um, who, who becomes the president and who won't become the president. Same goes to the governorship and gubernatorial election, then the House of Assembly election. Mbaka said that, oh, 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 that these pastors that do is coming for them. Hey, all right, let's check the content and know what Mbaka actually meant by all of this. This is today's news. Reverend Father A.G.K. Mbaka, a charismatic Catholic priest at the Adoration Ministry in Enugu, has said that clergy members of all Christian denominations in Nigeria have offended God with their varied stances leading up to the general election in 2023. Mbaka stated that he would not talk much about politics in order to, to avoid being sent back to the monastery for the second time. However, he emphasized that on behalf of all the clergy, he apologized for God to forgive the priest who took different approaches that were offensive to the church and God in the process of the general election. The man of God spoke on Sunday in the Adoration Ground, which is located in Umochibu, Nike, Enugu, as the adoration moms were enjoying the Catholic Modern Sunday holiday. Then, to Nigerian women and their families, he prayed and asked God to preserve the benefits that had been bestowed upon them and their household. Mbaka, whose mother was also present at the Mass, stated that being a mother comes with its share of difficulties. He paid special tribute to his mother who he revealed to have exerted a great deal of effort in the course of his delivery, remarking that it was fortunate that his mother is still alive to be able to witness his life and the events that have transpired throughout his lifetime. Regarding Nigerian's politics, Farambaka said, I apologize on behalf of all the priests and pastors in our shortcomings, particularly during the elections and in this political period. We have offended God in the process, but let God forgive us because we got it wrong. The power of God is above all rigging. The country is routine. Let us use the times we are expensing for politicking to search for solutions to our problems. Politics is now dividing Nigerians and all things and all these politicians, I call them political ox and vultures. Hmm. Is it true or not? See, in this uh, 2023 election, the truth is what Mbaka have just revealed now. And I want to first of all appreciate him for identifying that truth. But so many men of God who gave one prophecy or the other We'd still be maintaining it that yes, that it will soon come to pass. What is coming to pass? Look at one man of God that uh, gave one prophecy that Nam the Kano is not going to see the uh, uh, 
the year 2022. Yes, no. He said, he said, you know, the candle will pass out uh, by December. That is not going to see January 2022. Now, 2022 have passed. We are now in 2023. 2023 is, is now going. Nam the candle is still very much alive, doing well. That's why I say it that sometimes, so the prophecy we get some from many of some men of God, in fact, is annoying, and that is what Mbaka is trying to say. Nobody is saying that you should not believe, but don't be in a hurry to believe. Make your own findings. Pray. You are a potential man of God. What is separate? What is different between we and some of these men of God is because we have refused to make our path straight. If we can make our path straight, avoid sin, live a holy life, you will see that God will speak to you. God will speak to you. There is no difference between you and them. Live a holy life and you will see God speaking through you. You will see God speaking to you. You will see miracle happening through you. You understand? And you will see great things happening, happening to you. Your life will be a testimony. You will be a victor. And many things will begin to happen. What am I talking about, my dear listeners? Am I blabbing? No, of course. What I'm telling you is the reality. Mbaka have said it all, and that is the reality. So if you like, you take it. The word they say is enough for the wise. Um, Mbaka, I appreciate you because you have just said it all. To so those men of God that are, that that knows about this, that knows about the prophecy they gave that never came to pass, it is now left to them. This is more or less a confession. You understand? All right. So let's quickly uh, hear from you and let's know what you take, what your advice and what your opinion on all that I've just been said right now. Maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.